All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 8 with your buddy here, Super Turtle Guys. Today we have some fun things planned. Yes, and it involves some of that. But as you guys remember, a couple episodes ago, I cleared out a big section over here, and today I show you what we're doing with it. Oh my, I might have gone a little overkill. But yes, we are putting a mob farm in here, and each of these little sections will go up, and they'll have each of their uh, different mob farms, and yeah, it'll be really cool. Uh, they'll have their own, like, killing chambers we'll have a look into here from over there, um, and yeah, this is where the mobs will come and die. We're going to move all of this to kind of underground and in the base a little bit there, uh, maybe a little bit further away so you don't hear the water running from in the base, and then we might have a little bit of passive power generating as well. But yes, very cool. So off camera, I did do a little bit of mining. Like I said, I actually laid mine for probably about an hour and a half, so I didn't actually get a whole lot of things done. Uh, I did upgrade our chest to a diamond one cause just because we had so much nickel. Nickel and lead are everywhere in the caves, which is cool, uh, but they just take up a lot of space. But yeah, we only got three diamonds here. Uh, I did break a diamond pickaxe, uh, just mining all of the the cobbled deep slate that we need. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty fun. I found a couple geodes, uh, or just one geode, and we're going to be utilizing that to uh, make this uh, a little bit more dark. Um, I was actually originally intending on making the area over here like a, a spawner area, but I actually think we'll be able to see into it. And so this is all going to look way different now, but this is kind of a cool look. It's like our own little base. We'll be able to look into here and see all of the... Um, the farming going so that's going to be amazing but yeah so we have two zombies spawners uh we can convert the rotten flesh into like emeralds with trading uh let's see here rotten flesh has quite a bit of uses here um let's see the one that we want oh wait put it in a smoker you can actually generate power from it i did not know that but yeah, um, for the drying basin, we're going to make one of these, and we're going to make a, a bit of leather. Um, yeah, and so we're, it's from Integrated Dynamics, and we don't need anything in there. It says we need water. Hmm. I think this is going to be okay. I kind of want to see if we can build this right now. Um, we'll get into the... the um, whatchamacallit, the mob farm here, very shortly. Oh, and then the the other thing we set up last episode, uh, this guy's been running really good. As you can see, we have uh, 64 buckets of creosote oil plus 19 and a quarter. So yeah, this has been running good. We're getting charcoal. Uh, I do need to locate some more evil craft dark crystals. Uh, we get those for mining, and I do have a couple more. Uh, so we need another nine of those, and we'll be able to make the 144 uh, 1,000 millibuckets, which is just 144 buckets. Uh, but yeah, we'll be able to make this guy here. But we just need the, the blocks and some glass and iron, which is cool. So we have everything else but that. But yeah, so with this, we're going to need some black dye. Um, oh, I forgot you could turn charcoal into black dye in this. I feel like you should really be able to... What? I can't do that. Maybe if we go into... A... A crafting table here. Hmm. Hmm. What does this even do when you click it? That's so funny. Okay, so I guess maybe we can't turn charcoal into it. Normally, you'd be able to select, like, hey, I don't want to do that. But I guess we just got to go find some squid and give them a little slice. That's easy. All right, so a few squid slain later, and we have these guys that we need. Uh, looks like we just need some uh, logs. Maybe we could use maple logs. Would that be cool? That would be cool. Okay, so we have... The drawing basin. Now, I've never used integrated dynamics before, so I'm pretty excited to give this a whirl. Um, but let's see. So we click it. Can we do multiple? Nope, just one. Okay, so it says every five seconds it would turn it into. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I bet you we could automate that. So let's see here. We have three diamonds, so we can't filter them. Um, let's see here. Let's take some iron. I'm all about automation, so we're going to take a quick little detour here. Okay, and if we go like this. Oh, we don't get any chests. Okay, let's see here. So we're going to put a chest here um, with a hopper into it. And we're just going to try it like this. So if I right click here, nah, I just instantly took it out. So we do, we will need to filter it if we want that to work. Now what happens if, say, we take this, we put a hopper into it with a chest, and we put all of these in here. What happens when it turns into leather? Because that is the real key. Okay, so you just click it. And you can click the, the rotten flesh right out of there. Okay, but again, we are turning rotten flesh right into leather, and so we don't have to kill any cows. We don't have to worry about breeding them up. We just get leather. So, yeah, this is going to be one of the things that we're going to automate with the zombie farm and that'd be amazing just to have like a huge amount of leather on hand so if we ever need it we don't have to go look for it. we don't have to kill anything we don't have to breed anything it's just available at all times and i think that'd be really cool to have very early on so we are going to do a deep dive into that we only need three more and we have everything we need to uh make all of the bookshelves for the top tier enchanting so we could be enchanting by the end of, we're going to be enchanting by the end of this episode i just want to say that but there we go that is the amount of oh just kidding we need one more that is the amount we need for a lot of bookshelves so we'll put all this wood in there as well that's more than enough and all we do is put paper with those and we can make an enchanting table very cool so we do have uh two uh diamonds here so we can do, let's just do it right now. Um, we got some time. We have the resources to do this. Yeah, there's all the, there's all the sugar cane that I was looking for. So we do like this. Beautiful, okay. And then we take all of that leather, we turn it into the book. Perfect, so there's 45. 46, we need one more for the enchanting table. All right. This is all related to today's episode, I promise. Boom. Enchanting table. Beautiful. And then the wood. We can just make one. Like so. And then we hit recipe. Boom. There we go. So we have the complete set. Um, I think I'm going to put this up here. Nice. So let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Should we put it in the ground? I'll have to kick this out one more block then. Oh, whoops. Okay, so enchanting table right there. And then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll, we'll change this to a stair. Uh, don't vein mine things, kids. All right, so we have a uh, full, uh, yeah, level 30 levels. We can start enchanting things. It's going to be great. So we can start fortuning things, silk touching things, getting uh, good enchants on armor. Man, it's going to be lit. Okay, so time for the mob farm. Um, and to do that, we are going to be utilizing these mob fans here. And so we're going to need distance and width. We don't really need to worry about height. So I'm going to get rid of all of these other ones here temporarily. And so this is going to push the mobs kind of down the line. Um, and we're going to get a couple of these going. All right, and then these are smelting up. Can you put cobblestone in a blast furnace? I don't remember. No. No, you can't. Okay. Cool. 
All right, so we are first gonna start off with the blaze, and we're actually gonna make a mob masher as well. Just kidding, we're not making the mob masher yet. We will be utilizing the iron spikes. Um, yeah, that just requires a couple pieces of iron. Are we out of iron now too? No, we're not. We have enough. Thank goodness. Okay, so we just need one of those, and then we need three swords. Perfect, and then there we go, the mob spikes. So this is what they'll go on, and they will fall onto it and die. It'll be great. Uh, the reason why I wanna do the mob masher is because we have the ability to turn this off, and there will be a couple of times where we need to turn off the blaze farm in order to like grab a couple blazes or like just start smacking them to get uh, credit for the quest. Is blaze in here? They are, yeah. So in order to hit 100 blazes, we will need to smack them around. Uh, and so that's why we're going to switch it off. But um, where did my glass go? It's on my inventory, so cool. Um, yeah, we will use these to get those. Beautiful. We gain some glass, and that way the... Mm -hmm. They won't be able to look in and see us, so we can only see them. Amazing. Um, now, the other thing we need is the um, one of these guys. So we have here, we got this guy. Cool. We need the block of redstone. Beautiful. And we can craft the mob fam. Now, the things we need are going to be this guy here. Uh, we're going to need a lot of feathers. Let's see, do we have a cool way to get feathers? Fried chicken. That's about it. Okay, so I need to go around, collect some eggs, and we are going to utilize this hopper, these two chests, and the, these guys. We'll probably make a trap door as well, and we'll chuck the chickens in. <laughs> so I will go around and start collecting eggs and see if I can get some chickens. I might just see if I can bring them back because I do have a lead. So we'll see if we can get the farty parted started. Okay, so this is what we got here. Super... Hello. What are you doing? Go away. No one likes you, Enderman. Anyway, we have super, super duper simple. Bro wants to check it out. He's terrifying me. Um, but yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just lead the chickens up here. I'll jump over, we can open this up, they'll fall in, but I put this slab here so I don't have the ability to fall in. Because I'm known to do that. A lot. So now we just look around for some chickens and hopefully we can get some. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh yeah, I got a chicken. This guy is lit. He's coming along. So good. We love him. Okay, so I want to test something out here real quick. Uh, we don't need the slime, the snail shells. But there's the ability for us to put the chicken on top of our head. And I'm wondering, can I teleport back home with him on my head? <gasps> I can. All right, come here, chicken. That makes things so much easier to get them transported back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he probably just suffocated a little bit. Oh, it's like The Legend of Zelda. Where you hold the chicken and you can fly down slowly. Oh, that's amazing. All right, chicken. No, come here. Come here, chicken. So we just lure him in. There we go. And then I just like walk away. And the lead breaks. Otherwise, I'll put him back on my head. And there we go. Cool. So slash back, and I can go grab another one. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. Buck. Buck, buck. Got him. <laughs> oh, we're flying. Ha 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 ha! We're flying on chicken power, or really just gliding. Small. 
chicken 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 all right, guys, so it's been a little bit of time. I've been breeding up all the chickens over here. We have, I want to say, about 35 to 40 of these guys. Uh, so let's see. So entities. Um, yeah. Oh, we actually have 46 chickens. That's more than enough. Uh, and so, yeah, what I want to do is kind of convert this. Um, I guess we really can't convert it. We might just need to lead them to the chicken farm uh but yeah we're gonna make a chicken farm that way we can get some uh f feathers but we actually don't really need to do that right now we have enough chickens to get through it um so i'm just gonna start killing a couple oh that is not i guess we can do this Okay, so we killed a couple chickens, so that is okay. Um, the rest should have been picked up here. Yep, we have quite a bit of leaves. Perfect, those guys are going to continue to lay eggs, and we can, you know, get the population back up. We can kind of breed them uh, and things like that as well. Cool. So we got a couple in there. Let's go ahead and build the items that we need so we can like start building the mob farm. Um, so I will need quite a bit of glass because we need more of this, uh, the tinted glass here. Uh, so I'll need to get some more sand smelted up. That's okay. Um, but let's see here. I think we need a total of three of these. So I need some iron. And my iron is here. We do have some more that we can craft. We definitely need to get into a digital storage of some point here very soon. Good thing is we have both applied energistics and uh, refined storage, so we can choose which one we want. Probably we'll go with refined storage this time. Um, ooh, we got food. Fried chicken. Very cool. I didn't realize we got those as a reward. Oh, and a hearty meal. Perfect. We get to eat that as well. Uh, yeah, we'll start, you know, because we'll have the automated chicken uh, factory, we'll be able to uh, kind of automate food better. Uh, I don't know why I have that there. Okay, so one, two, three of these. And then we need some redstone for this guy. Okay, so we got three of those. And I think we should make another one of these. Actually, we're going to need two more because we need to funnel the blazes into a one-by-one one hole, which is okay. Um, yeah, so you're just missing those, which is easy for us to do. Oh, maybe we should... I, I said I shouldn't have done it, and then I continued to do it. Okay, so... Yeah, these just need a redstone signal. Um, that's all we need. Uh, we can actually just make three blocks of redstone. We'll call it good. We don't need the coal or that. Okay. So let's see real quick here how far these push us. So I see one, two, three, four. Can we get into here? Let's see. Yes, we can actually... There's a lot of room. Cool. So we don't need to put any of those upgrades in there. Very good. Very good. Okay. We can place that there. Beautiful. Okay. So let's get this farty part. We're going to use dirt in there because I might have an idea later. Oh, there's a skeleton in there. Oh, what do we get? Got a quiver. Very nice. Okay, so we need this to come over. Okay, I, my wand is broken. Okay, so here we go. The spawner will be here. 
Uh, on top of that block, so we can actually get rid of these two. Um, actually, hang on, let's go up. And so the spawner will be here, and then we'll put those there as well. Okay, so spawner will go there. Um, just below those, we can even leave those there. We don't want any of the blazes getting stuck on top. So that's why we're going to put those there. And then we get to put the fan in. So the fan is going to go here, like so. And if I'm not mistaken here, we can power it like this. And how far does this go? So we can go here. But we need it to go right here. Um, so this is the block they will drop into. So let's give it one more of a little boost. Okay, so it needs one more. That's okay. Nope, it actually needs all three. That's fine. Okay, and we want this to be blocked off. So if we walk here, yeah, we're pushed down. And this is kind of the killing chamber. That's where they die. Very cool. Okay. All right, so that is good. Uh, now we just need to put this one right here with this yep so that will push us there and then this will go so now yeah 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 cool okay so those are good and then for this guy we just throw this yeah and then and then there's nowhere they can really go except for here maybe and as soon as it is Right, there will be this glass will be lined up all the way so they won't be able to kind of get around it. Uh, actually, it won't be here. Um, yeah. Cool. So that is it. Uh, and then now, just right here, we need them so they don't move. So we need the spikes to be right, right here. Oops, perfect. Okay, so the spikes are now in. The killing chamber is set. Uh, all we need to do is uh, get some more glass. I did go ahead and grab a bunch of it. Um, so that we can line it up. And here we go. Boom. Okay. Need some more. And then we're going to do recipe. Booyah. So we have plenty there. I'm going to sleep real quick. All right, so, oh wait. So I think our door over there is gonna be right here. Uh, we'll have to do some kind of funny things. Not funny, but just like things so it doesn't look so bad. That's funny, I don't know where that guy's at. That looks good. And then we will bring this guy up a bit. Oh. The fans. I just about died. There'll be a way to make this look good. Trust me. We're just we're not really worried too much about looks right now. It's really just making sure that we can get the farm going. Okay, so now we can finally cap this guy off. Um I do have some bricks here. We're gonna mix these up. I just need the exchange tool uh, and then we can worry about that. But I would like to have 
um, many different mobs located within this farm. Okay, so everything should be ready to go. Uh, no light should be able to get in there. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Um, and then for now, we'll just have like a staircase down here, I guess. Um, this is really jank. <laughs> it looks terrible, but it will work pretty good. So let me go get the, oh, I already have it. Um, yeah, that's a blaze. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so I'll break this one and this one here. Maybe that one too. Okay. So as long as I just place these blocks here, should be able to place this, and then we can shift click that. There we go. There we go. Okay. Should be dark enough now. There they go. Oh my, that's loud. All right, so those guys died. <laughs> I feel like this is slow. Um, I wonder if there are any upgrades we can do to the spawner. Let's go have a look. Let's have a look, she. We really need it for experience, so we might need to do something about the killing chamber. Uh, obviously, we have to move the other things, but um, I do have a couple spawner activators. Let's do uh, throw a zombie one down here. Um, let's see. They should they shouldn't be able to spawn in here. Okay, I don't believe uh, we have like the spawner upgrades, so that's okay. We just have to make do with what we got. Um, I think though we we have a decent one here. Uh, I'll go AFK for a little bit, and we'll just see how much we can get. Oh, there we go. We got some more already. Very cool. How are you still there? There it goes. Okay, let's try this method where we just let them kind of pile up maybe and then I can kill them. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so now we're starting to get things. Uh, we're getting experience, stuff like that. So very cool. Um, oh, we got this guy just sitting there. There we go. He tries to move and then gets shoved down here. There we go. Look at that. Almost level 27. And then we can start enchanting some stuff. Oh, look at that. We got more guys. Very cool. And we can even lower this if we need to. Like, I, I think we might actually need to. Uh, yeah, because if we lower them down to here, they should be out of the range for the spawner. And so they should be able to spawn down here. But yeah, well, I'll let them pile up for a bit and we'll be back. Okay, we've definitely, we, it, it's definitely working way more efficient here that we're able to get the uh, blazes further away from the spawner. So uh, what this means is we're gonna have the spawning chambers, but then this will probably be the base floor level. I need to see if um, blazes will still spawn while I'm down here though. Got a lollipop. Okay. Oh, they're food. And blazes do spawn while I'm down here. Amazing. Cool. That means I can, like, board myself up like this and just AFK. Do, like, the whole AFK thing uh, where you have, like, the meat in your offhand stuff. Yeah. Like, this is going to be sweet. I'll be down here for a while. All right. Cool. So I'll keep slicing and dicing. Actually, I might just go ahead and build the zombie one um, over here. And... We will need to um, 
do something a little different. Um, wow, this, this thing's even spawning while I'm over here. Um, but the thing we'll do is I will probably have to put one over here and expand the width out. So that might be a little bit more tricky, but uh, we definitely need more feathers. Um, but yeah, the blaze farm's good. I'm gonna start working on the skeleton one here. You guys know how a mob farm goes together. You guys are smart. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, so I hit level 30 here uh, and I made an osmium, osmium paxel. And I wanna go ahead and enchant it and see what we can get on it. So it says here, efficiency five and unbreaking, perfect. So this has got, let's see, it says HP is 2048. Oh, I ate some of the lollipops and I got slow falling. So there we go, it should have, there we go, we have some durability. Yeah, so 2048 durability. So it's way, way better than our other one. Um, sorry, our, yeah, I can't even, can't even go downstairs properly with the slow fall lollipop. But uh, yeah, like I, as I've been working over here, the, the skeletons, or sorry, the blazes have been within range, so they've been spawning. Uh, and I've been getting lots of lollipops and levels, so I'm gonna keep uh, building away and slashing away, and we'll be back soon. All right, guys, so I am actually out of iron. Uh, I don't have the ability to make any more of these upgrades, but I do need to slay some blazes so I can enchant the hammer and maybe get some uh, unbreaking on it. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode for today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'm here with some blazes. They're my friends. I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Ow. Bye-bye. They hit me. Ow. They hit me again. They're mean. Why are they mean? <laughs>